Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Broker Review, Think Markets, STP close to ECN type. In this review you will find I try to cover here all areas about trading with them based on the facts showing you proofs of what I say as much as I can. Funding of the company, legal documents, financial insurance protection of your money, regulation account types deposit, withdrawal, spread, slippage, swap, support. Asset, trading platform and tools, copy trading, leverage and finally affiliation programs. This review will be divided in three videos to make it easier to watch. Companies info established in 2010, which means that the company have nine years of experience. It's a good sign of stability and safety for your money. A weak sign would be two to three years only. Then they also have physical branches all around the world. It is also a good sign. Regulations. Regulated in Australia and United Kingdom first, both of the safest worldwide regulations for the retail trader, then they earn the South Africa regulation too. This is overall a very good sign too. About the regulation, also what you have to know is you will be regulated depending on the country where you reside and open an account with them. So, if you reside in Asia, you might be under the regulation of Mauritius. If you reside in Australia, then you will be Australian regulated, etc. So the quality of the regulation will depend also on that point. STP broker. STP, which means straight through processing. It means the broker has a large network of liquidity provider that might include other brokers and he process our orders directly to them. It is very close to the ECN type like IC markets. He pays himself also on commissions and the more and the longer you trade the better for him too. So it should be a win-win situation. I let you a link below of an article explaining in details the little differences of the two STP versus ECN. So this type of broker is a little like the market maker. They might take the other side of our trade. To avail this statement, let's look at the FCA website which regulates them. So you take basically FCA on Google and after you click on the website, Financial Conduct Authority of Great Britain. Then you go in Financial Services Register right here. Then you search Think Markets. So TF Global Markets UK Limited. This is a company. So what we will look for to verify because when you ask their chat, of course, they don't say that they are like a market maker. But to see what the truth is, you just go into permission right here. And you can see client money requirement, agreeing, arranging, bringing about. And what is interesting for us is this one. So dealing in investments as agent. If they have only this specific article, they will act like a true ECN and just process our order without never taking the other side of our trade. But they have this one, which is dealing in investments as principal, which means they might be the person who will take the trade against us. But the FCA, they have a limited license. So they have limitation to do that. That's where you can find if a broker is a true ECN, uh, true STP, but I don't believe there is true STP. A STP is always a market maker that process your order directly to the liquidity providers when you become profitable. I will explain that a little bit later. But since the regulation of the FCA covers us, we don't have so much worry to have about this specific fact. So let's come back to the presentation. So they have limitation when they take the other side of our trade, but they might take it from time to time. No reason to be around, the FCA covers us in case of conflicts. But this only for the UK resident. 
For the Bermuda or Mauritius, it might be a bit different. We might be very careful about it. Explication of broker practices. I make this explanation because around the world, 95% of the broker have these specific practices. I don't remember if they explain it like saying that they classify you in a book A when you are not profitable and in a book B when you become profitable and that's what happened. Electronically, every broker know when you're trading lose money and also they have indicators when you start to become profitable. So when the investor is not profitable, he will trade against the broker. So, since the investor is not profitable, the broker win money. Then, when the investors become to be profitable in his trading, then it changed. We will trade against a pool of liquidity providers, which means the broker transfer our order to them and the broker doesn't lose money with us and he just pay himself on the commissions. That's why the type of account with commission is a bit safer because they get their commission and they don't have so much interest to manipulate the price. Liquidity. So in their legal documents, they write that they are not market makers, but STP. But as we can see, when you look at the FCA, they might take the other side of our trade. So when you subscribe to a STP account, the zero spread account type with them, this is when you will be likely to be with a STP type of processing of your orders. So your orders will be transmitted to a large pool of liquidity providers. And this is a good point for you. They have access to a huge liquidity, which means your execution will be AA grade. And you might encounter less slippage at the end of the day or during the news, but you will still encounter slippage during the news. It's unavoidable. This is their strong side compared to IC markets who lack sometimes of liquidity. So from my perspective, they might take the opposite of your trade, but in a limited number of situations since they have restriction by the FCA. For example, if they don't find someone to match your order to buy, they might take the opposite, but it will be not all the time. Then if you fall under their Bermuda regulation, they might take the other side of your trade on a regular basis when you are in a book A and you are not profitable. You won't be trading against them systematically, so the conflict of interest is limited depending on the regulation. Legal documents, when you open an account with them, they will give you access to those documents, the term and conditions, the financial service guides, the privacy policy, and the product disclosure statement. It is important that you read all of them since your hard earned money is involved. Demonstration account. Nearly every forex broker provides the possibility to open and trade on a demo account even before opening a real account. Think Markets and IC Markets propose both a demo account where you can trade with fake money in real market condition. There is no commission and slippage with the demo account. I still advise you multiply this account by 6 before you invest any money. We are already at the end of this first video about Think Market STP Broker. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Bye everyone.